Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly here, and today I am going to be showing you how to swap two elements of an array using C Sharp. So just a quick heads up, this will work for other types of arrays, like integer arrays, floating point arrays, boolean arrays, but in this tutorial we'll be doing a string array. Let's get right into it. Firstly, we have got string my array equals Jeff, cake, duck, Ichigo and frog. This is the array we're going to do our swap on. And console.writeline string.join, comma, my array is going to be us printing out the contents of the array. So when we can see, do it like a C before and after, before the swap and after the swap. Let's go into how we swap. Firstly, we're going to do int swap index 1 and int swap index 2. So these are going to be the two elements of the array that we want to swap. And these values represent the indexes of those arrays. So in C Sharp, arrays start on an index of 0. So in this example, with an index of 1 and 2, we want to swap cake and duck, because it's 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. The first step to doing the swap is we want to make a temporary variable. Now this variable needs to be the same type as your array. So if you've got an int array, it needs to be an int. If you've got a float, it needs to be a float. If you've got a string array, it needs to be a string. We call it temp and we set it to be equal to my array swap indexed one. So this temporary value will have the value of cake. After that we do my array swap index one equals my array swap index two. So using our array as an example, this element of cake will now have the value of duck. So this array will be Jeff, duck, duck, Ichigo and frog. So you might be thinking, but Max, we got rid of our cake value. How are we going to set the second duck to be cake? Well, that's why we have a temporary variable, so we can solve that value temporarily while we overwrite the previous value. So we do my array swap index 2 equals temp. So this duck will now become cake. And that's how we do a simple swap. It's a really, really useful three lines of code to remember. Very useful in many scenarios, including sorting. We are finally going to do console.writeline, string.join, comma, my array. So we're just going to print out our array again and then console.readline to stop the program from closing. Let's hit play. And as you can see, it swapped duck and cake around. So what if we were to do 0 and 4? Well, it would swap Jeff and Frog about, and it did. So thanks for being a great audience, be sure to leave a like in the comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more C Sharp tutorials. Thanks for watching.